Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaltout. Let's see how to validate form inputs in Vue.js3. With this view 3 form validation example that covers the most commonly used input. We are going to use the view validate package for the validation as it gets everything we need. So let's install it. Here we have a Vue.js single page component for a, regist a registration form. And we will set validation rules and error message. I'm using Bootstrap 5 as a CSS framework, but it's okay to work with other frameworks as we only focus on view code. We put all the uh, form models here in uh, form object, and we have on submit function. So let's install our package. So here is a code npm install at viewlidate slash core at viewlidate slash validators. Okay, let's import the packages more uh, modules here. In second line, this is the classes we will use. And in the setup here, we are going to use the modules as you can see here with a V and dollar sign. Okay, here we are going to use validations method uh, to specify the inputs with the rules. As you can see here, so this is the rules here uh, for every uh, input. To make the validation rules work, after inputting the data and after clicking the submit button, we need to create the touched method to help us in validation. As you can see here, we will add the touched to the input. Uh, the parameter will be the model name. Uh, for example, here for the first uh, one, uh, the model equal first name or the model equal all. Okay. We will use the package uh, here as this dot view dollar sign dot form dot first name and we will set it to be touch it. Then the validation will work. We use the touch it in on submit method here with parameter all uh, just to make sure that everything uh, is validated. Okay, let's validate the first name. Okay, here we will import all the validation rules. Okay, uh, we need to make uh, the first name required and uh, uh, all the characters inside this import should be or must be alphabetical. So we we'll use that and a minimum length will be three characters and the maximum will be 15. Let's display the validation error message inside the input element. Okay. We will add at input set touch it with, uh, with the input uh, parameter here uh, will be the, the model name. And uh, uh, for class, this is a condition for Bootstrap 5. And finally, we will uh, uh, run through all the error related to the first name, as you can see here, we we'll show the message. Um, now let's test it. It's here, now it works fine. Now it should be alphabetical. And uh, here is the minimum and maximum characters. So in submit, all good. Sometimes we need to translate or, cre or create a custom error message. It's so easy to customize the message. So let's try that on the last name in both. We will use 
helpers dot with message and the message here the custom message and then uh, the validation rule helpful alphabetical here is same same thing as uh, uh, first name so let's test it here here is the message Let's try another thing here for validating, validating the email. Email here uh, required and we use email age required and we will make the age between 18 and 45 years old. So we used between. Here the same thing as all inputs. We need to create a custom validation rule to make sure that the start date is greater than today. We will create day, date before validators just before ex, um, export default here. As you can see here, we'll take the value and compare it with uh, now date and use it here at start date. We made as in both required and the before helpers with message. We did we add a custom message and our custom validator. We can do this in another way. So here for end date, we need to make sure that the the end date after the start date. So we get the value here. And we compare it with uh, the value of the start date. Here, this dot form start date. Okay, let's uh, test it. Here, uh, same date. Let's check the end date. Okay, let's validate the password and the password confirmation. We will use same as for, for uh, password confirmation, but first here for the password will be required and for confirmation will be required and confirm password same as this dot form dot password, okay? Another way of displaying the error messages is by creating a list of all errors at the top of the form, as you can see here. And we lob them, and we can get the validator and the property and the message. So let's test it. Okay, let's click Submit. Here is all the errors, as you can see here. And when we write in, in, in both, it will change. Okay, let's validate uh, date and time uh, with uh, moment.js and the beauty date, of course. Here, just an installed moment.js. Okay, here is a new component just for date validation. Uh, here is the, the example we have made before uh, the start date and the end date that we have validated. Actually, and uh, we make we made sure that uh, the start date after today and the end date after the start date. So uh, we wanted to make it more uh, complicated, like uh, adding time, date time like here, date time, local and date time, we change it the input here, the input type. So actually it's the same code, nothing new here. The time validation, start date time wants to be after today, 
and in the time must be after the start date. Okay, so we wanted to make more complicated, another one actually more and more complicated. Um, let's say we want to add the start date time must be after 30 minutes from now. So here we used moment.js and we added 30 minutes. Okay, and we got the value of the input and we compared it to make sure it's after the value to compare and it returned true or false. Here for the end date, um, as you can see here, end date time must be after the start date time maximum uh, 120 minutes, uh, two hours actually, and uh, 45 minutes from the start date. So here we needed to use is between. So the start, the value to compare for a start, moment.add 75 minutes, that means 30 minutes start date plus 45 minutes end date. Okay. And the value to compare uh, for the end, uh, moment.add uh, 150 minutes, 30 minutes the start date and uh, two hours after 120 minutes ended. Okay, so here moment is the value of the input is between these two. Okay, start and end, and it return true or false. So let's test it. that's all i hope that was useful for you so please like and subscribe thank you for your watching bye bye